Welcome back, Python family, to the Python Made Easy series. In this class, we talk about classes, relationships, and composition. It's a short class, but it's dense. So let's get started. What is composition as it relates to object-oriented programming? In this context, composition is about relationships between objects, and more specifically, the various objects that are parts of a whole. And the whole, in this case, is a given computer program, and specifically related modules from a program or modules that work together. To give an example, we will work on code around a bank. The bank is a composite object. This object will provide an interface for and direction to other embedded objects. Let's see how it works. OK, so what do we have here? On the left-hand side, we have a Python file called compo.py. On the right-hand side, we have a second Python file called bank.py. In compo.py, we have three different classes, the person class, the teller class, and the manager class. And the latter two, teller and manager, inherit from person. So they are subclasses of the person class. And there's very subtle differences between the constructor method on each of these, right? They're almost identical, except for the fact that the teller class and the manager class don't specify salary equals zero. They specify fixed salaries for those different roles. And then at the bottom, we have an if name equals main statement. And of course, we can print out some of our test cases there to make sure that this is working. But the real interesting stuff happens on the right-hand side. So let's take a look. I tried to put some annotation here to make it easier. So the first thing we have to do is we have to import from our compo pi file. So first statement, from compo import person, teller, and manager. We're going to import all our classes. Now, up at the top, we have class customer, and it has three methods. It has the init or constructor method. It has a transaction method, and it has a mortgage method. Next, we have a class ATM, and then we have one method there, give money. Now, we get to our very special class, the class called bank. This class is our composite object. Its constructor makes and embeds instances of the manager, teller, and ATM classes. We haven't seen anything like this so far in this Python Made Easy series. This is pretty fascinating and pretty slick. Also, inside of bank is the transaction method and a mortgage method. And then, of course, we have an if name equals main statement, just like we do in our compo.py file. And we have three different statements within there that we'll get to. So let's start with bank and see what's going on, class bank. So self.manager right here equals manager Joe. What is happening here? This variable calls to manager in compo.py right here. And we feed it its one argument as required, Joe. This creates an instance of the manager class. The next line is very similar. The only difference is it's self.teller, and it creates an instance of our teller class up here, also from compo.py. Next line is a little different. We have self.atm equals atm. So this is an instance of our ATM class, which is right here in our bank.py file. OK? Now, we're going to deal with that first. If you look at the transaction method here in our bank composite object here, our composite class, you'll see that the third line in the body of transaction is money. What is happening here? This uses the instance that we created, the self.atm instance that we created right here to return the give money method. Okay, see what's happening there? So we're using three different sections of this, this code to make this all happen. Now, in terms of the other two lines in transaction, we have customer, a variable customer equals customer name. This creates an instance of the customer class up here, also in bank.py, with the argument John. And why does it get the argument John? From down here, right, in our caller in our if name equals main, it gets it right there, b.transaction John. And in fact, let's look at that. The first thing we do in our if, if name equals main, b equals bank, 
So of course we create an instance of bank and then we take that instance dot transaction, the method here, and we feed in the one variable that it, that it requires and the one attribute that it requires and it's the string John, the name John. So we have that here, customer equals customer John, then customer dot transaction, this passes Judy to customer dot transaction. So up here in our customer class, how do we get Judy? Well, it's self.teller. Look at the constructor for bank, self.teller equals teller Judy. So that's what we're passing there. We're passing the teller with the name of Judy there. And then we already talked about self ATM dot give money. Finally, in mortgage, mortgage is a lot like transaction, not as dense. We have customer two equals customer name. That will take the name Miles and then customer two dot mortgage self dot manager. What are we passing there? We're passing the name Joe because we're looking at the self dot manager variable, which equals an instance of the manager class from our compo.py with the argument of Joe. So that's how we get that. So now again, we print out B equals bank down here. Then we do B dot transaction John. So we're calling the transaction method and that method references the transaction method up here in customer. So when we print it out, Self dot name is what? John, and then a literal string is helped with a transaction from, who's our teller? Judy, and where do we get this printout? This printout comes from the teller method over here. And what is that call? What is that looking for? That goes up to person, the person class up here. So that prints out the name, Judy, and her salary, 14,500. Probably not the most useful printout, but that's what happens. Now, same here with mortgage, b.mortgage, what are we looking for there? Again, b is our instance of our class bank. Dot mortgage is this method here. And then when we go through it, customer two, customer name, we already said that's miles. Then customer two dot mortgage, self dot manager that passes the name Joe, because he's our manager. And that goes over here to the manager class in compo.py. And again, that calls person and it's, it's init and it prints out its string return. Same thing. We get Joe's name, dollar sign. I forgot to mention that with Judy, dollar sign, and then his salary, 54500 So that's how this works. Take a look at this. Really study it. Come up with your own examples. Stretch yourself. See what it is that you want to create. I could have done a lot of things. I started with a doctor's office and then I, I settled on a bank. So, you know, really exciting things. What is it that you'd like to create? These all great building blocks and stepping stones to your career. So take some time with it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, Python folks, thanks for watching till the end. If this has helped you, consider helping me to continue to bring you and others this type of content. Helping is easy. First, subscribe to the Yogi Coder page. Second, like this video and leave any comments or questions you feel moved to. And third, share this on any and all social media channels for the benefit of your colleagues and your friends. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.